The film that I, that I did was called Inja, and it was a very serious political drama, it's a short film. I got nominated for an Oscar, which, you know, uh, is a complete uh, miracle. In everyone's perception, it made me a better filmmaker than I was before I got the nomination, and it helped get this film off the ground. I wasn't always a filmmaker, just as fate would have it. I built a house for a film producer slash director, Bill Bennett and Jennifer Bennett, his wife, who sent me off to the film school and now they're producing my feature film. I might not look it, but I uh, you know, grew up skating in the 70s and I was on my board every single day of my life from the age of uh, nine till 17, 18. I mean, one of the things that I felt confident about with this film is that I know skating so that I can make the continuity and the authenticity right. And actually the story came out of personal experience and from talking to young skaters. Justin was a name that people threw around often when we started the project as a legend in the Sydney skate scene. He met Steve at, uh, at a skate comp. He's a skater who's really consistent, great at, at pulling off tricks, and he um, gave us the opportunity to just be with a skater and, and to see some tricks pulled and to throw ideas at him in terms of, of how we could, we could achieve certain tricks. And he gave me the opportunity to look at angles and, and get right in on a board and see, and see different ways of shooting. Oh, good day. Steve and I went out with uh, DV cameras. We'd, we'd go out to our locations with skaters and, and we'd look for what was the best frame, what was the best way to capture some skating. We'd get our skater to do some tricks and, and I found that a really good way to, to communicate with Steve as to what some of the potential ideas or decisions could be. Always had the mini DV camera in the hand. It was also just a great tool for just capturing and, and reviewing and, and we could watch that back. <laughs> Yeah. Right there, For me, it was just a, a way of just starting the process of, of, of shooting. Everyone <laughs> fine? Well, when you look at a frame and you think, well, how can I make this interesting? Denson comes through every time with trumps. Whenever I walk into a scene or approach a, a location, I'll look for what's the best angle, what's the best way to capture it. And um, if I can do that with a, with a DV camera and, and, and capture as many different options. <laughs> and then be able to show them to a director or just even for myself, just create some still frames just to determine what's the best. We could even start to build a, a storyboard or a sequence that out of the, the DV footage that we've shot. So they, when they come here, they're like scared up the top of that hill going, you know, uh, no man's land, no way. And on that whole expanse of concrete, that is where you would see the White Reaper. There's um, service passages that are perfect. That one, one that Brian showed us, that is, goes like that, and another one that you could actually skate. Um, we're at Maroubra Skate Park. It's the best skate park at a beach in Sydney, and it's it's the most, its proximity to the beach is also the closest one. Um, so we've got a couple of scenes on the beach. The guys walk back, and then Tony Hawk is having a lonesome skate in the Arvo over here. Just the geography, proximity—it's perfect. So yeah, and look how beautiful it is. God, I hope it's a nice day. <laughs> I've been spending the last six to eight weeks looking for locations in Sydney and then one day a bombshell has dropped on you. Oh, well, hey, we're moving the production to Adelaide. My initial reaction was, oh my God, I don't know if I can cope with this punch. You know, I've been rolling with a few others. I don't know if I can roll with this one. But I just decided to take a step back, only freak out if I got to Adelaide and didn't think it was possible because we're cheating Adelaide for Sydney. Um, but got down to Adelaide, saw the most amazing locations. I'm yeah. excited. Oh, oh, yeah, oh definitely. Yeah. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. The location was just unreal. Yeah. We'll use that. Okay. Don't know. We'll use both. I mean. I feel like there's nothing I can't solve. It's just the time. We've got unreal crew. Everyone's going to put their heads together. It's just, have we got the time actually to put every piece in place? And is that time constriction going to um, change the vision that? we've had. I have to admit it, I'm pretty nervous, but I can't keep the smile off my face. It's just, it's just a bit of a joke how you think two years ago, yeah right, I'm writing the script, it'll never get made, but it's awesome we're here. Good morning. Good. Day number one. That's rock and roll.
First scene over with. Only 193 to go. I don't know, it's kind of, you know, when you plan these shots uh, and then you actually see them come to life, you wonder, should I have thought about another shot? But they were sensational. Okay, we're going to play the whole scene through. Yeah, first day. Yeah, under our belts. Yeah, oh, it's pretty exciting. It's great to have a day behind us. We only got 29 left. <laughs> Time to be mega stars. Yeah. Um, just, uh, just rehearsal. Just very low key. Yeah. Just want to get the Rotate. timing right. Okay. Just want to get the timing yeah. right. That lovely, you know, confrontational scene. Yep. Yep. With yeah. spasm. Yeah. yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Fantastic. Good Thanks, bro. Every morning it seemed like we would have a nice day. We've had our bad luck, that was yesterday. Now yeah. it's going to clear up and be fine. It's just that Sydney changes so quickly, particularly on the coast. Well, it was pretty terrible yesterday. We've got soap putting it all up. That's the only thing that's worrying me at the moment, those flags. The colour's about is leaching out of them, but that's all right. Ah, oh, you just go with the weather. You can't do anything about it. You can only just sort of go with the flow and no, if it's a rainy day and you see the rain, you see the rain. You can't avoid that. Do you know we had to stop for drizzle, then move inside, stop for drizzle, move inside. Remember we couldn't do anything about the weather? Yeah. That's what I mean. I feel yeah, like I've got. I feel does. like I've got what, what I need. Somewhere in all yeah. of it. Okay, thank you. Let's check the gate. We built a scaff tower in the middle of the uh, bowl there. And the scaff just collapsed under our weight. The camera just went whoosh like that, and Chappie and I uh, saved the camera. And you jumped. Yeah, I, I leapt underneath the scaff. Chappie did a dive. Dance is just like leap of faith to try and make it. Just slid down the side of our. <laughs> but then he just ran and hugged the camera to make sure it didn't fall, you know, he's like, the camera! Chappie, he just was like, he didn't even bail, he, all he was thinking about was the camera, he just grabbed it, was holding onto it like that. It wasn't anything unsafe, it's just the way the legs were dealing with it, and that's it. Just, um, these things happen, precarious things happen. These are grey areas in the business that, you know, you can't, you, you've got to keep an eye on all the time. We'll have to, we'll have to recreate it for you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, ever. We've now secured it, it's uh, no longer a uh, safety hazard. We had our gaffer tape around the base, so we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> With a little bit of drizzle, the wind, skaters everywhere, three cameras, a few hundred extras. I mean, there was madness going on anyway, but it didn't really feel like that. It was just like, oh, we'll stay calm and, and do what you can do. location is because it just is so much a part of the you know the, the feeling of the film. 590 take one on A and B. Him actually cutting your shoe off is because it hurts too much when yeah. he pulls it off. Yeah. Okay, so you've got to try and pull it off. And and it's got and to be, you, yeah. you won't let him because yep. it's just yep. way too sore. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's why you cut it off. Yeah. 
I mean, it's been tough for Steve. The whole shoot was, has been tough because, you know, there's been a huge amount to get through and really tricky stuff. And particularly for someone who's, you know, it's his first film. You know, there's, there's action stuff, there's really hard performance stuff, there's um, CGI stuff, there's animation. Um, you know, it's really hard. He's doing a good job. You know, at what point are you going to lose sight of the fact that you're completely privileged? Uh, you've got a whole crew serving your vision, you've got multiple cameras, and you're doing something that is beyond stimulating with great people around you. It's a really rare opportunity. I don't think you can really lose sight of it.